Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the Managing Director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking, is getting back to normal here in Thailand, is this really a radical concept? And the reason I started thinking of this was I was reading an article in the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. I urge folks who are watching this video, go check that out. I'm just gonna quote an excerpt here, but there's a lot of good information and data points in there. But the title of the article is Thailand's tourist entry rules aren't worse than her regional rivals. And quoting directly, all in all, the generalization that Thailand is more bureaucratic in entry procedures and is less tourist friendly than other regional countries is at best a moot point. But the country which has taken the biggest leap forward in the encouragement of international tourism is Cambodia, which has vaccinated 93% of its population. For vaccinated travelers, there are no COVID tests of any kind before or after arrival in the kingdom, whilst visas on arrival without any prior online registration are back. For the time being, that's too radical a solution for the larger regional countries. <laughs> my, you know, my thinking on that is really radical? Radical. Two years now, we've been shut down. Two years, completely shut down. Well. Let's not say completely, but okay, the first, what, 90 days, Thailand was really shut down. Or the first 60 days, it was totally shut down. And then it started reopening, I believe, at the end of April of 2020. You know, then we went back into lockdown, and then we lived in this sort of limbo for a prolonged period of time. Then we went just when things were starting to look like they were going to reopen, totally shut back down or, or took a lot of steps back, let's say, in April of 2021, we've barely limped out of that coming here now to April 2022. And the notion of just getting on with our lives is radical. The notion of just getting back to traveling and doing what we were doing is radical. I really, you know, if that's the case, then isn't everything radical? I mean, is the notion of getting up in the morning radical? It just, it just seems strange to me this and this is throughout the media. I'm not, I'm not picking on any one person or any, any one venue or any, any, anyone at all, really. I see this everywhere. It just sort of percolates up in different places. You know, I see it in the Bangkok Post. I see it in, you know, ASEAN Now. I see it all over where, you know, people are sort of talking about this stuff like, oh, well, it'd be a really big deal if we just get back to being able to travel internationally. Really? I don't see how that's such a big deal. You know, I think it's getting to be time that we all start seriously getting on with our lives. You know, this was what it was. I've, I've made my opinions on that clear. I, I don't think that we needed to go nearly to the extremes that we went to, but okay, we did it. And now we got to get on with it. And quite frankly, if we don't, you know, most of the major economies around the world are moribund. Thailand's got real economic problems if we don't get reopened. So, you know... All I'll say, sort of in conclusion, is if this is radical, then, you know, what's not? <laughs>